My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile, then. Perhaps the Desert Hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. What's up, everybody? This is Validol. We are back again playing more S Final Fantasy 16. I almost said seven days to die. <laughs> We're on the quest, Riddles of the Sand. I explored the town and got to hear it, got to movie scene, so I thought I'd start the recording there. I backtracked, I searched the desert a little bit to see if there was anything there, nothing too important. So... Uh, we do have a merchant here. Let's see, anything what do you I got? Interest you in? Uh, anything? I don't know. Uh, I don't need a platinum sword. Don't need that, don't need that. Nope. Nope. I've got three desert roses. I'll probably get more. Thank you. Nope, you're good. I'm good. Looks like we're beginning back to Drake's All right, speak with townspeople. Oh, here's one. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Uh, he was very pleasant during that conversation. <coughs> what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? I won't keep you long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig. But he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. Briar's kiss. This young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Believe you me. Yeah. Well, this is the area. Oh, a boat. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. 
And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this further knows. Yeah. I found Ferda. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. I hope it's not an introduction to with guards. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. Bye, guys. I'm not going to waste time. Didn't expect that. Oh, you didn't get me that time. That was a little easy. I know I got hit a couple times, but you know, I was screwing around. Like always. I like to have a little fun while I'm playing. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the Lock of Leisure, then. Another bordello. The lock of Leisure. <laughs> Needed. The juiciest meat. Take a sniff, good sir. The finest fabric. There we go. Is this the place? Ubo's Forge. The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. 
Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why you? Like you can so, stay in my way, bum. What do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. Of course, a side quest. Like this one, willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want, always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff! We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? The... If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you. Yeah, that's a little vague. Gray beard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. Follow the crystals. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. All right. Well, might as well talk to the closest per person here. Huh. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market, either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So people are stealing crystals, which people need for their everyday life. This one's a bit closer. I'm going to go to this side. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Men of the Rock throw their money around like there's no tomorrow. Wonder where they're getting all that money. So crystals are being stolen and men of the rock are spending a lot of money. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing. I'm not a soldier. Ugh, oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? To be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and a nerd to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Uh huh. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. Men of the Rock. Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. What was all that crashing and banging about before? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. He's over here. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement but not here well they're gonna rob the fuck out of him what are you doing uncle uh he's trying to set him up i bet you he's trying to set him up that old fool to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men. Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystallized sort if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere. And pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men. 
just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. Perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. Of course. All right. God, that's a long way away. Where is that? Uh. Oh, so. Okay. I didn't even know I could go out that way. Huh. What was all that crashing and banging about? That is the way, right? Yeah. Okay. North Gate, the Briar Kiss. I never checked all that over there, did I? Oh. Uh, I checked this here. Never checked all of that. I'll check it out when I come back to the town, because I'm going to have to come back to the Briar Kiss anyway. It's a long way to go. I might cut through a lot of the traveling part for y'all. Don't want to board y'all. Plus, I'm going to be checking out, seeing if I can find any treasures. Like what's not at that area. It's already over here. Uh, oh, I saw a little lizard. Little lizard. Speaking of little lizards, my freaking bearded dragon's eggs finally hatched. Well, two of them. But yeah, I got two bearded, two baby bearded dragons. I've got one that's black and brown, and then I got one that's uh, the orange. Well, uh, it's like special breed. It's like orange and tan and black and tan. But they're just so adorable. They're so small too. Gosh, took a picture of one of them in my wife's head, and yeah, I mean it was really small. Hey guys, I I won't keep you though watching this boring stuff. Time to fight. Uh, no, it ain't. Just pick up the shiny, damn it, and then get a move on. got going on over here I wonder oh that's inaccessible turn around friend there's nothing back there but a pack of bloodthirsty beasts I don't care let me in there damn it I want to go kill those beasts I didn't want that I hit the wrong button all right fine let me go back to exploring this area and getting to where I need to go. Oh, that's where I need to go. It's a little town area. I can check that other side when I get back. All right. Well, I really didn't find much except for that blockade. Let me get off Ambrosia. This looks like a good place for an ambush. 
I'll take it from here. You couldn't even do the bar fight. Oh my god, look at all those crystals. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Wonder how much 500 talents is. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. Who are them? And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, mm -hmm. to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <laughs> it would seem. My lord, what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both! What? Trying to end this as fast as I can! New enemies approach already. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, I see someone more important. Just take this. Oh, look at that. It's like a little blender. Who's over here fighting? Torgal, is that you? Oh, you are such a good boy! You are such a good boy. Oh, new enemies approach. Look at this, and we found a shiny. A black chocobo! Oh, that's my uncle. I thought that was someone else trying to attack me. There we go. That wasn't that hard. Ah, nothing good. Crafting materials. At least he stayed and fought this time. 
Much like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Gravy! You were magnificent! The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best? How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the Rock taking Crystal's men for the common folk and conspiring with the Royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. But I guess not. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield, thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... <laughs> <laughs> Here, wear this. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubo. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> I'm only going to kill Kupka. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Quest is complete. Good job. Follow the crystals. Uh, nothing that good. I got another meteorite. I think I need to sell some crafting materials. I got so much of it. Okay, right, I got secondary quests. So we know what we're doing next episode, y'all. So that's it. Thank y'all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed that, you all know what to do. You guys are fantastic. Take care of yourselves. Bye.